Archaeologists from the Zaporizhia region of Ukraine have found another artifact in the Dnipro River, an 18th-century anchor dating back to the Russo-Turkish War of 1735-1739. This anchor shows it was a flotilla mooring spot here. This find is very interesting from a scientific point of view, too. This is the second anchor found here. Two months earlier, a so-called cat anchor was found here as well. This latest find is in great shape, both its metal and wooden parts. But it's not going to be easy to preserve, says Nifyodov. The difficulty in conservation and restoration lies in the fact it's made of two materials – wood and metal. Wood conservation requires one technology, and metal conservation – a totally different technology. At least five antique boats are on display here, at the Museum of Navigation in Horitsa. They were found and restored before Russia's invasion and the June explosion at the Kahovka Dam, which lowered the water levels in the reservoir above it and revealed more archaeological artifacts. This is our latest find. It was possible to retrieve it after the shallowing of the Dnipro River, caused by the Kahovka Dam explosion. It is a clapboard fragment that belonged to a very large cargo ship. It's not just boats. The shallow Dnipro has revealed entire villages, says archaeologist Pavlo Dimenka. We discovered a Scythian era settlement at the Baida island. No one has seen it before because it was meters under the water. But Dnipro's shallowing also presents an opportunity for so-called black archaeologists, who find artifacts and sell them on the black market. Local authorities are now stopping people and checking them with a metal detector. Anchors seem to be the most desirable finds for treasure hunters or black archaeologists. Many would love to have one at home, make it an interior accent. And those who don't understand, just take it to scrap metal collectors. Since the explosion at the Kahovka Dam, local archaeologists have already found over 2,000 artifacts. For Eva Mironova in the Zaporizhia region of Ukraine, NRI's VOA News.